There is Liam Doyle. Into this for Jimmy Nielsen's first substitution. A couple of quick words there with Jimmy. In his trademark black coaching shorts. You like those, don't you? Well, that's that's his style. I, I'm trying to think of the OKC game. Two boating, huh? Back, yep. uh, back heel from your fullback. Your center half's gone charging up the line. And Alex Dixon with a spirited run. He ran into, and I cut. As for Swope, their final game in this playoff race. There's oh! a shot and a goal! Off of the free kick. Opportunity on the counter for the Toros out. And that ball was a little too low, intended for Murphy on for the Rangers. And it's going to be a pretty much a, a very frustrating first 45 minutes if it continues in this vein up until halftime. And you see right now. And a midfield teammate, Duke. And that's not just on Oliveira, that's on Duke as well. That positioning just needs to be closer. From distance, just wide. Went through. CSC having to play over some streamers after the goal. A little local celebration down there. Great to see the fans enjoying some prospects. Tyler Pasher getting his start up top today, applying pressure. And now it's a turnover. Bad pass from Mickey Daly. Straight into the feet of Liam Doyle. And now Kuzain making his sixth start, but. Several of those have come recently with the departure of... Has not been hesitant to lean on his youngsters. A lot of minutes they've logged so far. Much more experience in the OKC side. As you say, the ground crew has done a fantastic job. Showed up today and was really thrilled to see just how good it looks. Got a chance to... Maloto manages to keep that one in place. Excuse me, Belmar. Energy trying to go up the middle there. Well read and intercepted by Liam Doyle. Andy put a towering header from Colton Storm to win it over the 5'8", Miguel Gonzalez. Some quick feet from Liam Doyle to dribble out of pressure there. Wallace now finds his mate for real in midfield. Checking back was Angulo, but a nice so that left-handed partnership of Mar and Pasher has been broken up. Way forward as the Swell Park Rangers played along the back line. Liam Doyle, the Isle of Man International, in his 15th start. He's done well to carve a position out for him after not really featuring. Try to get a header attempt. Liam Doyle standing over this. Takes a shot and goal. Hits it a little bit off the post. Oh, what a strike. Involved as the night goes on. Uh, poor touch there. Now look at this dribbling by Doyle. A beaten streak as this one sent along the line for Daniel Jackson. Jackson 1v1 with Doyle here. Trying to get around the big number 66. Stifled for the moment. Glad to have you with us here on KPLR. And we are still waiting for that breakthrough. Swope, the good free kick opportunity. It's not at all. long. Grinwis had to make the save. Heard everything has been superb. The play in the middle of the park has been good. It's been stingy defensively. But is there anything that they can do in the attacking third to try to get that breakthrough? They need to use, well, utilize the channels a little bit better. You've seen them move the ball up the... Passer muscles him off the ball momentarily. Still Sheldon. Back for the Mexican. Octavio Guzman, a good whipped in ball. Guzman might be able to get to the second. Doyle. Into space for Duke. It's a Jackson, he's really been done a good job with that pace getting up and down the line. Dalgard sent it over for Valeski. Very pacey. Forces the ball out of bounds. And Valeski, Havinovich, along for Dalgard. Apia, okay for the moment. Sebastian Delgard around one defender, then stood up by Doyle. You know, stay patient and get on with it. Here's Hanson making a nice run, plays it to the top of the box. Cleared away, and now room the other way. Salbo looking, at, he'll get there. Omar Mohammed, chance here for T2. 
Mohamed gets by the defender along the byline, trying to play it across. Headed away. Renito, Bijev. You know, they can keep it scoreless through that or even get a goal, great. You know, you don't want to go down early. Gives them too much confidence. Whether we've figured out how to cut them off the game or what. Bjornathan making a run toward the byline, plays it across. Cleared out. Nice late run Nine. there. McIntosh will play it in. And that is it. Well, Quick throw. Ruben Luna posting up on Doyle inside the area here. Challenged away once and then again by Liam Doyle. And in the end, it's an attacking. Oh, Storm. Bring it through for Lebo Maloto. Go all the way back to Doyle. I just like sporting Kansas City would. Great ball in behind. Murphy, first time cross. Red well, Liam Doyle there to head it away from Ruben Luna. For the visitors. Play to the far side for Tyler Pasher. And these fullbacks really like to get forward here for Swope Park because this one sent long and diagonal for the speedy Olive. The touch there for Turner. He's playing advanced. Nice little step, you'd have to say, from Doyle. He showed a good reading of the game in central defense. Just he got forward. He tried to make something happen with a long range shot, but that one wasn't on the frame. But again, you know, the Galaxy, at least now, I think, feel a little more comfortable and they're stepping up their pressure. So that might help. Slowly but surely, starting to settle into this. On the league, tune into USL Coast to Coast with Mike Watts Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Sirius XM FC Channel 85. Also, don't forget C Sirius XM FC. Chaos gets it away. Castellanos on the other end wins the header. Unable to keep possession, but the flag had gone up. Offside against Adonis Amaya. Goes down here in the South Bay. Those temperatures drop. Yes, they do. Real fast. Hard running from the goal scorer, Sel. Parashi, another one of those versatile players. He's playing on the right hand side of the three, as I alluded to earlier. Can also play in the two in the middle. Line towards the byline, across. Oh, that pass had a lot of pace on it against a host of roughneck defenders. Yeah, he wanted to take them all on, didn't he? He did uh, pretty well, actually. In the open space now. We've talked about this throughout the season, Carter, is SPR's penchant for possession, especially early in games, kind of setting the tempo. At the numbers were on for SPR. This is back and forth. And then stuff here. Freighter. About 25 yards out has a go. That one's blocked away as well. And the Rangers will recycle from right to left. Soccer fans, Nike is an official sponsor of the USL. For more informa information, visit Nike Soccer. Easton, he keeps it alive, but his pass intercepted and smashed clear. Sion McFarlane again there to clear it away from his left center back position. Get down that end line in dangerous spots, but Colorado Springs repelling. Oliveira whipped into the area and headed home. Liam Doyle gets it. And that had to be their fourth or fifth in the second half. We'll get back to that as Colorado Springs making some inroads. Floated up to the back post for Freighter and just went overzealous in the challenge. But on the left-hand side, quickly down the middle, Rubio was trying to sprint through the center halves and Belmar's pass was intercepted. Same time, that speed of Selbo could be a factor as Swope Park Rangers in, in search of that second goal. If he can get behind the defense, watch out. Smart by Zendaya. See if Phoenix makes any changes here. We mentioned the Mexican soccer for Phoenix, and now it's two for Swope Park Rangers today, so. Drogba able to keep it in. Now deal with the ball sent across, but headed out by the defense of Swole Park. And yet again, rostered a playoff team in 2011. He's replaced by number nine, Omar Drago. That was uh, one of those years that, even though there wasn't a championship, it's impressive young player and a, and a bright future, you would have to say. 
joined the USU 20 national team actually in, during the month of April. Didn't make the World Cup team, but. Hernandez looking for an outside of the boot pass, just trying to slip it through for Miro Savage. Again, wed, read well by Jadama. And now Liam Doyle. Boring time there for SPR. Again, a good delivery from Kappa as he just picked out the 6 6 frame. Passions between Iwasa and Sporting Kansas City's Dom Dwyer Carter, and that both have those stocky physical builds. Iwasa can ball over to the left. Balu gets there first, but now the Roughnecks to stream forward into the box. A slide across right into the six yard box, and Liam Doyle taking. Kaffa now laying it off for Kalistri. Looking for Svantessen, and he had straight. And they has forced into action. Some confusion there in the back, and it's a corner kick now for the Roughnecks, headed away. Good header from Liam Doyle to clear his lines. More of the ball as well. If SPR can get back into it and string some passes together. Well delivered in though by Forbes from the corner stick. Cochran now the opposite stick. He'll deliver this one to the top of the six and McCarthy was climbing the ladder but it didn't time it very well. He's only seen one shot on target here through the first 55 minutes tonight. Doyle splits back to the inside and uh, Billy Forbes flat footed it allowed to have been somewhat from behind but it was totally all ball and I think uh, I think we got a little unlucky there. This one there for Kevin Oliveira as AJ Ajaqua applying a bit of a one man press. Just both the, the end of last season and this season. Making his fourth start in the 2017 campaign, Adrian Zendejas. But then Cochran looking for Forbes over the top. I think we'll see that quite a bit tonight with the pace of a Jake and Forbes and even Tierpak on the right hand side. I think they'll look to go long quick and find those pacey guys in behind. So it's a great effect all season long. Here's a big diagonal. Doyle trying to stretch the field for Storm. Tierpak and Tierpak's going to have to come back and deal with Mar as well. Here's Parker Mar making just his second start. He started the first game of the season. He's made will be his seventh appearance, but finding most of his time on the bench. Several San Antonio players have applied their trade. We started in the back with the Rangers as we tick on into the final 30 seconds of that in time. Doyle again looking for that big diagonal. We've seen it to sit up until a certain point before pressing and They'll look to hit on the break the moment they win the ball back. And for the Rangers, they'll look for those little interchangeable passes like this. Again, Darren Powell's San Antonio FC side so well organized at the back. You see how tight it is in the middle there, right in front of the San Antonio box. So many bodies. Let us snuff out any attack from the Rangers. Doyle now charging forward from his center back position and taking control.